Hey again guys, today I want to talk about power and how that fits into the damage formula. Power is something that gets talked about a lot, but not many people know how it actually contributes to your damage in terms of a damage modifier. So to help explain, I'll put the formula up on the screen and use a Google calculator. Another thing I'll talk about is what people call relative increase, and hopefully I'll explain it clearly, because while power does not have diminishing returns, the benefit from power that you get does diminish relatively. A lot of people think of power in terms of percentages, but for me that's a little bit too complicated, so I'm going to use the equation to convert our power into numbers or damage multipliers that the damage formula uses when calculating our damage. And first. I'll start by demonstrating that by adding 20,000 power, we reach a multiplier of 1.5x. Then adding 20,000 more gets us to 2.0. Then 20,000 more is 2.5. 20,000 more is 3.0. 20,000 more is 3.5, 20,000 more is 4.0, and it goes on and on like that. Every 20,000 power you add is worth 0 0.5 added into your damage multiplier. So power does affect your damage in a very consistent way. But now I'm going to try to explain why people say the effects of power diminish relatively. Now to start us off, I'll put 20,000 power into the formula and you can see that this gives us a 1.5x damage modifier. By adding another 20,000 power brings us to 2.0x and now we're doubling our damage. So basically it's taken us 40,000 power to double our damage with a 2 times modifier. Well, next I want to double that again with a 4 times modifier. But as you can see, it's going to take us a total of 120,000 power to get that. Now I want to double it again with an 8 times modifier. The number I'm looking for is going to be 280,000 power. So to double it the first time, we needed 40,000 power. To double that, we needed 80,000 more power for a total of 120,000 power. And to double that, we needed to add 160,000 power for a total of 280,000 power. So in order to continue doing twice as much damage as we were previously, we need to continue adding twice as much power. You can think of it like driving a car. If you were driving 10 miles per hour and you wanted to double your speed, you'd need to drive 20 miles per hour. If you want to double your speed again, you need to drive 40 miles per hour. And to double that, you need to drive 80 miles per hour. And to double that, you need to drive 160 miles per hour. And each time, your speed increases by two times or 100%. So, if you were to now speed up from 160 miles per hour to just 170 miles per hour, would it really feel like that much? No. When you're going that fast, 10 miles per hour doesn't really make much of a difference. In fact, it's only a 1.0625 multiplier, or 6.25%. But, once upon a time, 10 miles per hour was all it took to double your speed. So. As we can see, at high speeds, or high power, relatively, 10 miles per hour or 40,000 power doesn't feel like so much anymore. And that's what it means when people say relative increase. Okay, I was going to go into weapon damage today, and how to compare your current weapon damage to weapons you might be looking at in the future. But that will have to be in my next video since I'm worried that this is already a little too much information to digest or just deserves its own video. So now we've covered buffs and how they work, armor pen and defenses ignored, combat advantage and crit severity, 
and power. I'll have links to the previous videos in the description, and I'll do my best to add any future videos down there as well. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.